Hello and welcome to this presentation. I am going to show you how to easily create reinforcing bars and meshes, as well as create drawings using various examples in Cube with Strakon 2020 Service Pack 1. Let's take a look at a small sample of the concrete beam. Today I want to begin with the command laying field. Clicking on this ribbon, a warning message appears that at the start of modeling, reinforcement display settings have to be changed. Now you can see the options. I can choose between various bending shapes. Set the diameter, layout distance and the concrete color of path planes. I can set the laying direction by following the arrow. It is possible to edit spacing as well as edge and area distances. You can notice that openings are automatically detected. Let's click on Undo and as an alternative we can use another command standard bending shape. The steps are the same. I have to enter the diameter the stirrup direction and lay by picking two points and finally by entering start, end and layout distances. All the bar values are applied, so for further modeling we can use the same values and quickly insert stirrups or change. If we have the slope section, beam stirrups arrange themselves automatically according to beam cross section geometry. To reinforce cross-section above or below the hole, we can switch settings by clicking on the minimal icon and by selecting Start and End Planes. Instead of the layout distance, the number can be specified. I can also create any bending shape including stirrups by using the command individual bending shape. I just need to pick points and select the line to lay it. I can rotate the model by clicking on the cube and also fix it by switching settings. Then this function is activated, the cube is in white. First, I am going to create the upper longitudinal bar by activating the function Consider Other Reinforcement. Once this function has been activated, the bars are not clashing. The layout of bars is set using only one point, the beam width and entering the number. Now I want to create a lower straight bar with the option Standard Bending Shape and lay it over the beam length. If we need to model a bar above the opening, we need to activate the minimal function. and set the value of extension. I repeat the same steps for a bar below the opening and we get the desired results. To turn off view fixing settings, we can press key E and rotate the model from different angles. All model bars can be corrected in a fast and easy manner by using the edit toolbar. For example, instead of changing two bars into four, we can also add hooks and change the length. And finally, the diameter of bars can be edited too. The length of the hooks updates automatically according to the minimum requirements. The last step in this example is to create a reinforcement drawing. With Strakon we can generate shop drawings with bar marks, pull out pictures and a list of materials directly from the model. I will start with creating the front view. 
we can use settings to affect how the reinforcement is shown in the drawings, marking style or position. For now, you can see the manual input here. And for further examples, you will see how automatic dimensioning works. So we have the front reinforcement view. Of course, all these marks can be edited later. Here I'm using the dimension group line and with the pointer function, I can get the overall dimension. In this manner, I can save time because I don't need to enter the dimensions manually. For detailed information, I need to create sections. It can also be generated from the model directly. I am taking the same steps as before. Using the pointer, I can zoom out or zoom in. As you can see, the same bars are grouped automatically. I can add one more section right here along with markings. With the polygon application, I can visualize ribbons by using smart click at the position number. Bending shapes can be positioned both inside and outside the concrete shape. Bending shapes are provided with mark containing information about the ribba. If the stirrups is not showing in the section, I can generate the table of exact dimensions of bending shape bars. The last action to get the desired results is to add missing rebar pull-out pictures, missing dimensions, and place the reinforcement list. Finally, if there is a change in the model, the cube reinforcement arranges itself automatically according to geometry. We just need to open the drawing window and click on Update All to affect the 3D views and the plans and the reinforcement table list is updated automatically. Let's take a look at another sample of the precast column. I will start by modeling ties over the column height, but in this case, I select fixed areas instead of a fixed distance. I am entering start and end spacings, as well as the number of areas. I go ahead and click on this icon. The table of tie spacing appears. I set the individual area lengths and spacings. The ties in the upper length and the longitudinal bars of the column are modeled with the standard bending shape function, as I showed previously. If I do not want to insert the bar across the entire column length, we can switch settings by clicking on the icon Leg Modification, and then enter the leg length before laying the ribba in the column. U-shaped bars can also be modeled and arranged by using the standard bending shape command. In addition, the leg length can be specified here before modeling. To reinforce the column cobble, I am going to start with a horizontal torsion shape bar. The variable length ribbon can be entered just as easily as any other standard bending shape. If necessary, I can quickly edit the concrete cover at the top and bottom of the cobble. 
Additional stirrups are modeled using the individual bending shape command with a modified bend to radius and leg correction. The bar is shaped according to cobble geometry and the concrete color is entered individually to the faces of the column. As you can see, I can quickly snap the edge point because the plain color is changed. Now I am going to create a column reinforcement drawing directly from the model as I did before. In this case, I have edited settings. In this way, the number position of the bus is created automatically. After a few quick corrections, I have achieved the desired reinforcement view. The rebar pullouts can be added in one step and, if necessary, as a symbolic representation. Another type of the reinforcement list can be added, in this case the bar list with the bending shape. Finally, I would like to show you how to edit the ties area distance using the table of data ranges. And apply the changes to the drawing. For this sample, I need only a slab, so I quickly hide the remaining structures and look at the slab from the bottom view. With the cube reinforcement mesh tools, you can create rectangular, polygonal or bent meshes that consist of two perpendicular bar groups. Besides, there is a possibility to create pre-laying individual meshes in both directions. After selecting the mesh type and entering edge distances and dimensions, I can indicate the direction and place the mesh on a slab edge. Now I want to create a half mesh of the overlap point. As you can notice, the mesh does not recognize the edges of the slab, but I can switch the settings by clicking on clip and after activating this, the mesh indicates edges and holes. We can choose between standard bendings to show all bars and as alternative the outline look. To lay out the entire slab, I delete these meshes and use the command laying. As you can see, the last settings are applied and according to these settings, I indicate the directions of the longitudinal bars. There is also an option of changing the longitudinal bars in Strakon. And I would like to replace the width of the modeled mesh in the transfer direction. This correction includes the whole slab area. You can see that every hole of the slab is taken into account. It is possible to enter minimal distances of the mesh that is not taken into consideration. Additional holes can be ignored manually, in this case the mesh is laid over it without a hole. Thus I go ahead, for now I am going to model reinforcement for the three slab edge using the command standard bending shape, but with a different type of laying, in this situation polygonal laying. I have to pick the corner points of the polygon and click on the right mouse button to finish picking. Entering the start and end distances, I have to ensure that there are no conflicts in the corners. I can quickly change the end distance here. In the areas where the stirrups do not fit, individual bars can be deleted manually. In the place, I can model the stirrups along the holes.
This is it. I get the desired results. Now I just need to update the current plan and thanks to the created settings, the dimensions and labels of reinforcement lay themselves out automatically. As previously mentioned, it is always possible to edit everything as desired. Finally, the reinforcement list can be updated using a pointer symbol. The list contains mesh sketches with dimensions. In this sample, I want to show you a method that could be a fast edit structure using the flex path function. It is an adaptive component, which could be added to any kind of object and later reinforced as needed. If the flex path component is set as a displacement object, a recess is also cut in the plate. I will use the function laying fill to reinforce the concrete slab. Here you can notice how easily and quickly both straight bars and bending shapes bars can be modeled. and additional hooks added. In the other direction, I have to model U-shaped bars. Enter start and end distances. To avoid clashes between the bars, I need to edit the concrete cover of the upper face. The last step to complete reinforcing the slab is to model the mesh. I can switch its direction by clicking on the icon Vertical Longitudinal Direction. It is always possible to change mesh representation. Finally, I want to prove to you what I mentioned before, namely that the reinforcement is adaptive, I can move a part of the element. I can even delete the remaining reinforcement which adapts to the new geometry. This is how the 3D reinforcement could be modeled with Stracon. Enjoy!